Is Sergio Aguero, as Thierry Henry said, the closest to a world-class striker we've got now in the Premier League? I think we've got a few, if I'm being honest, but I, I think he's the standout one. You know, he's, he's not different to the others. I mean, he's got low centre of gravity. I mean, he's hard to get off the ball. He reminds me... Like, Zola was like that. He'd get on the ball and he'd twist and turn. And you, you know, I've seen, seen Zola do things to Gary Pallister when he was at United, yeah, yeah. when they beat you that day at Stamford Bridge. You, you know, I they... I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> But I do, I've, I'm a big fan of his. I am a big fan. I, I like watching him play. I, you know, I think... Well, I don't know what world class is. People say you have to you have to win a World Cup to be world class. I mean, Messi's never won a World Cup, and he's the best player in the world. I, I had this very conversation with Alan Shearer doing a TV program on Sunday, and and we we completely agreed that he's he's top five Premier League all time. Mm. Um, I think he, this guy he, he's special. I, I I don't know why Guardiola when he came in. I, I have no idea. Why he was trying to replace him is, you know, he, he replaced Joe Hart straight away, and he was looking to replace him as well. He put him on the bench. I've absolutely no idea because goals is what wins your games. You mm. can you can argue for as long as you like. If you don't got goals in, or have goals in your in your team, you're gonna win nothing. That's as simple well, as that. Like when Man when, United, when uh, Man City were after uh, Suarez, uh, after Sanchez at Arsenal, I was thinking if if, if I'm Arsene Wenger, I'm ringing up going if you want. Sanchez, I'll have Aguero. If you're that desperate for him, give me Aguero. And he, he will, he'll score goals for fun. I mean, his record's phenomenal. I mean, it is phenomenal. It's so difficult to play against. Yeah. I think a good example is a fourth goal, uh, the, the, the hat-trick goal he scores. Yeah. So oh, that's number four goal against, against Watford. So once he gets the ball, it's like it's, it, it's glued to his foot. It's a little bit, I'm not liking him to Messi because they're different players. But I'm liking the two things that are similar, that you can't get the ball off him. Mm. And, and his close control is just incredible. Uh, and, and, and once he gets in the box, defenders don't, they, they, they will not try to win the ball and they won't challenge him because he's, it's just a little touch with the ball and he goes down and it's a penalty. And he just walked through that defence, didn't he? Yeah. So if, if, if so Guardiola is looking to, was looking to replace him with Jesus and seemed to prefer him to, as, a, as a starting player, that seems to have changed slightly now. But also, he's, he's never won the Players' Player of the Year. No. He hasn't made the, the team of the season. It's something that really rankles with City fans. But what, what is it that, that is stopping him from getting that kind of, that I, level of recognition? I think, I think it's... Uh, it's it's just something that you can't explain why he hasn't gone. I think if we go to the team teams of the year, there are two: the, the riders and the players. And and you get you get the little uh, you get the, the yeah. thing the voting thing in, in in the dressing room, and it's you vote very much of what's up right now. Yeah, you it's get this in it? February, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> and as far as I remember, last year he he was out with an injury in that period, and with with the the sports riders. Um, Sometimes you don't, I mean, some, some years they're very, very obvious, you know? And other years you can argue, like, should, should he have got that or should Harry Kane have got that? And many, many times it's, it's a sports writer's favourite, the guy they speak to, the guy that, mm. that delivers content to their whatever platform they're on. Um, and that, they take that into account for being the best, I, I, delivering. It, yeah. it is unbelievable mm. he's never been in the team. Yeah. You know, because usually it's 4-4-2, four, four, so it's two forwards. Like, you could understand when I was playing that Ian Wright never got in. Because Wright, he you would... You can say that because he's not here. No, because he, <laughs> he would slaughter defenders yeah. all the way through the game. He would yeah. slaughter defenders. He was upset yeah. everybody. So people would go, I'm not voting for him. He, he told me I was a useless player, you know. But not with Aguero. He seems, you know, like on the pitch, he's completely different to Wright, Ian. It, it shocks me how he's never been in the team. That, you know, I didn't even know that till you just said that. That surprises me. You know, but then that, that, it also speaks volumes of the Premier League, the quality of the players mm. that are in the Premier League, mm. that someone like him <laughs> can't get in. Yeah. But, you know, you, you, you mentioned Jesus there. I, I think, uh, and, and again, I go by the Watford game, where they, play, they, they started the game, I think they can strike up a very, very... Mm. Um, it, it, I, I use the, the word legendary partnership. They could do that the way they, they, they interacted, the way their movement to each other. I, I know Watford probably didn't have the best of days, so there's a lot yeah. of room there to do that. But I played in a team where that, it happened 
by accident, if you like, with, uh, with York and Cole. They, they were very similar in the way they, they, they played, but they found each other's strength and suddenly come up with this York and Cole move. And from that, it just developed into something. I mean, a lot of people will say the York and Cole. They, we did the York and Cole. It exists, you know. It's something that's, that has happened, and it didn't happen from, from conscious training. It just happened, you know. And, and if you look at that Watford game again, you, you can see those two, they can play together. Yeah. Definitely. Do you think there's, a, there's an element of it being City and therefore people expect them since the money came into the club, since they've been able to go out and buy the very best players, spend the very highest amount of money, is there an expectation that those players are going to be brilliant so they're almost sort of underestimated mm. because they, they've only reached the level we expect of them? Uh, you'd have probably said f three years ago, you'd have probably said that because Man City went out and went bang, wallet crash, and they bought everybody in sight, bought all the best players. Well, now they're, they're breaking even, that, aren't they? Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I think. You think they haven't done that this summer? <laughs> no, but teams, at least teams are catching up with yeah. them. Man yeah. United can play and Chelsea can play, you know, and Liverpool can spend money. So you'd like to think if he keeps on doing it, you know, it, it, it has surprised me. I, I, I'm a big fan of his. I always sit there and think, why has no one brought, you know, when you were that good, Barcelona and Real Madrid come for you, and they've never ever come for him, which surprises me. It's, you know, I don't know if it's because teams like Barcelona will look at him and go, can he play in a three when you've got to interact, you've got to play one-twos? Because he's not that kind of player. You know, and that's maybe he's probably his downfall. He's, he's, he's a goal scorer. You know, he don't really... He's not really going to be on the halfway line and no, turn got, and, and put a 60-yard ball, yeah. cross-field ball into, the, in, you know, a ball through the eye of a needle. He's bang, put it down the side of me and I'll score. And that might be the difference why he's probably never been to a Barcelona. But, you know, Michael Owens played for Real Madrid and he was an out-and-out -out goal scorer. So it surprises me with Real Madrid, definitely. Where does he rank alongside the, the, the Premier League goal scorers at the moment? I know you're saying top five overall, but you've got someone like Harry Kane yeah. who scored a hat trick in Champions League action this evening against Apoel Nicosia. Admit it, but yeah. he, he just seems to adapt to every level that he's asked to step up. You still have to score to. a hat trick. To, you know, it's uh, he's so impressive, isn't it? it it's it's. Well, I, I mean, I I think Harry Kane is the best striker in the league, and I think it for the reason that he he loves scoring goals and he is he's chasing the opportunity to score goals more than anyone who plays in the Premier League today. And if you look at the goals that he's scoring, they're not, they're not a particular kind of goal. I know he scores a lot of them when he comes in from the left, mm. but he, he can be in the right spot and just tap it in. He can shoot from 40 yards. He, he, he crossed the ball the other day and went in the top corner. <laughs> you know, he, he scores a variety of different goals and that's what makes him so difficult to play against. Well, we, we can argue with Agreo. I agree with, you know, the way that he plays. He's very much a in and around the box kind of player. I don't, I don't know the statistics, but I wouldn't think that he'd scored a lot of goals from outside the box. Mm. But he has a knack of being in the right place at the right time. And he scores so many tap-ins. And people say he's lucky, but that's a talent. That's, that's really yeah. a big talent. But Harry Kane, he, he doesn't have to to have players around him to creating chances for him because he can do that by himself and he can also be at the end of chances being created for him and that just makes it so incredibly difficult to play against and mm. you know I remember what Casper said he scored I think he scored a hat-trick against Casper last year and Casper he was very he was he was furious with the event of course he should be but he said as well you know I'm so impressed I've never played against someone who's that hungry. He's everywhere, and I really have to keep an eye on him because this moment he's there, then the next moment he's, he's on the left outside the box, and I know that he's going to shoot. If he gets a ball, I know he will try to make a goal, and that kind of hunger is, is you know, that's, that's, that's very special. And I, just top of my head, can't remember anyone like that ever playing in the Premier League. And there's, there's so many great strikers at the moment in the Premier League. You could oh, add yeah. Lukaku and Morata to that, that yeah. probably top four, if you, if you were talking. Who do you think is the, the best in the Premier League at the moment, Paul? I'm going to go with Peter. I, I, I've done something for Sky the other day, and... I said Harry Kane, because Harry Kane, he can score from anywhere, but in this day and age, when people are only playing one up front, he can hold the ball up, he can turn on the halfway line, he could be out on the, on the right or the, on the left, and he'll beat a player and he'll, and he'll score, and you'll go, well, where's that come from? 
you know, you look at Lukaku, you know, you, you, you have to whip the ball in the box, really, for him. And I, I like Morata. I think Morata keeps on doing what he's doing at Stoke last week was impressive. I mean, his movement, you know, and what I like about Morata, again, he got the ball on the halfway line and he just went woof and he was away and, and composure and, and speed and pace. And you don't play for Real Madrid if you're a bad player. Very rarely, you know, if you go through time, I don't think there could be too many that have played for and won the, you know, I, the I European agree, Cup. I, agree, it was right. I think, I think yeah. he is, he's potentially also someone who could be up there. I, I will say though that we're in September. It, it, you know, it's the, the, the teams and the players in the team, the defenders don't really know him yet. Yeah. You know, once they've played against him, they they would have learned so much about the way he moves, the way he he takes the ball down, how he t he turns, um, and only the special strikers, the ones that has more than just one thing in their catalog, you know, progresses from there. Once defenders start to read strikers, and we've seen this time and time again, we've seen players come in with great, big, massive reputations. And, and, you know, after six months, you know, they, they become average players because you've, they've been read. And the special ones, they just take off and, you know, are very difficult to play against. That, that's why Lukaku is such a difficult player to play against, is because I disagree with that. You, you have to whip the ball. And I think he can create goals on his own. I think yeah, my, my doubt with him was sure that. that he had to do that a lot with, with Everton. Mm. Can he do that with Man United? Can he actually fit in? Can he hold the ball up? And I, he surprised me again. We're only in September, you know, it's a long, long season ahead of us. Uh, you know, the weather changes, the pitches are changing a little bit. You, you get know. to that six months spot well, where exactly, people you know. may be working you out for the return. So the jury, the, the jury's got to be out of them, well. right? Yeah, exactly. Mm. So on them, Morata, Lukaku and all the guys that are suddenly scoring a lot of goals for the big teams, jury's still out. But with Harry Kane, he's done it. He, was he not injured quite a lot last year? Yeah. Did he not win the Golden Boot? Yeah. You know, that's quality and you yeah. can't argue with that. So Harry Kane then, the best goal scorer in the Premier League at the moment, but Sergio Aguero in the top five all time. Is that where we're, we're wrapping this up? Yeah, and I think Harry Kane is a little bit too young to be in the yeah. top five all time yet, but he is very, very if quickly getting going, there. He, he, could, but he won't be the, far the off thing, Shearer. The, the, thing, the thing, I, you know, you have to take into consideration when, when you judge that, is Aguero's won the Premier League, you know? Harry Kane hasn't won the Premier League. I think that's got to be in there. You've got you to gotta add trophies to, to, to your yeah. work, you know? So I've done this, and that contributed for, uh, to, to the mm. team winning that. And that's what Harry Kane, he, he needs to have a long, long look at how he goes forward with his career. Is Tottenham a club that eventually will win trophies? Or are they going to be in and around and, you know... What do you think? Uh, I think it's a difficult one. I think, I think they've got a great team. Um, I've seen the statistics with uh, Pochettino on how, he work, uh, on how he wins his win rate going from the start of the season up to, to March, which is phenomenal. It's, it really is good. But it, it's only in the two years... So his first year at Espanyol and first year at Southampton, it's the same after. Then in all the other seasons, they drop dramatically. And he's one of those coaches who, who, who's doing double sessions uh, a couple of times a week. Uh, and it's like for me that, you know, with, with this league, it's so difficult, no breaks, there's nothing, there's no let up. You, you can never relax. That sometimes you need to have a break. You need to sort of switch off. You need to physically, you know, when you get to January, it's tough. You really have to dig deep. And if you're training twice a day, maybe twice a week, and I know people will think, yeah, but you get paid all this money, but it's nothing about with money. If you do that, it wears you out. And when you get to March, crunch time is when you have to finish a job, when you got to, you know, get points and points to win that trophy, it's twice as hard because you are tired, all the other teams got something to play for, survival, getting into Europe, whatever, you know? They're all digging deep, and to get the three points you need to push away or stay ahead, stay ahead or keeping up with other teams, it's just difficult. And if, if you've been worn out by training too much, and that is what I suspect is happening, 
it, it's either that or a coach is too intense or, you know, asks too much of a player in his, you know, and that's what he, what, that's what he has to get right. Well, I think once he d he's got, he gets that right, and you know, with a new stadium, you know, that's a potential for them to to step into that. But it's a big, big step they need to take.